Yo, welcome to the channel everyone, today we're gonna go through a complete guide on how to record your vocals inside FL Studio 21. Unlike other videos I've made, on this video I'm not gonna pre-record anything and we're gonna do everything from scratch, so stay tuned because it might suck a little bit. <laughs> but even if it does, I hope you guys learned something from this, we're gonna be recording the vocals inside FL Studio and then I'll just process them a bit real quick so you can see the final result. Let's try to get some professional vocals. So here we are guys inside FL Studio, for today's tutorial I brought you a simple example, we're gonna be using Loud Luxuries and Charlie on a Friday's new song which is called Young and Foolish. I like the instrumentals of this song, they're quite poppy, so I felt like it would work great up for this tutorial. I can't really show you the original full song because I might get some copyright, but I'll show you a bit of the vocals. They sound like this. Last night I threw up in my Uber Drunk so this is our instrumental right here, sounds like this. Really terrible instrumental, I just got it from an AI splitter website, so yeah, that's why it sounds like that. <laughs> now, how do we record vocals inside FL Studio? Let me show you. The first step, guys, is to make sure you have your microphone connected to your sound card. I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett 2i interface, and the only thing you have to do is connect your microphone to the first input on their sound card. Then, make sure you have everything set up here in the audio settings. I have mine to FL Studio ASIO, which works okay with the Focusrite, but then when we want to record and reduce the latency of our vocals, we need to go to the Focusrite USB ASIO, okay? If we click it, it will let us select our buffer length. As you can see, mine is at the minimum, so it's 16 buffer size and this is so you don't have any delay while you're singing all right so if you are for example to clap then you'll have a response like a few seconds later so it'll be like this and you don't want that while you're singing you don't want to hear yourself with delay so by adjusting the buffer line we eradicate that problem now how to set up your microphone after everything is connected to your computer. We're gonna go to the mixer track right here and we're gonna go to insert one for example and this is gonna be the insert where we're gonna be recording our vocals. Right here on the right side we have our inserts and what we're gonna be doing is our input right here is selected to none so nothing is happening right now and if you click it we see there's options that we can use. So I connected my microphone to the input one of my Scarlett so I'm gonna be adding input one as an input. And right away, you can see that my microphone is working. Now, at this moment, you should be listening to your own vocals. I'm listening to myself right now, and it sounds okay. This simply means that our vocals are going to be recorded to input one of our track. So I'm going to rename this to recording. And there we go. So now how do you record this inside the playlist? It's really simple. We're going to select a part of our instrumental we want to record right here. We're going to start right here. Okay, and then all you have to do is hit this record button right here at the top and click audio into the playlist as an audio clip. Now if you start recording. Last night I woke up in my hallway summer. And that is it. If you now listen to it. Last night I woke up in my hallway summer. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's as simple as that. Let's delete this terrible take and go through a few things. To auxiliate you while you record your vocals, you can use the metronome. This will help you be in the correct tempo. If you turn it on right here and then you hit the record button and press audio into the playlist as an audio clip, you'll see the metronome playing while we record. Last night I got in my head, da, na, na. By using the metronome, I can guarantee that I'm pretty much always on time. Let's check it out. Last night I got in my head, da, na, na. If for some reason you can't really hear yourself because the metronome is playing too loud, I'm gonna show you how to adjust that. If we go to options right here and we go to audio settings, we notice that at the bottom where it says mixer, we have a metronome track. And if we set this, let's set this for example to track number 10. When we play our track with the metronome on, look what happens. The metronome plays on insert number 10. How crazy is that? If now we wanted to record, we would just press record, play, and then we would adjust the volume of our metronome. So let's play it. Last night, and then I start going down. And you can barely hear the metronome. So always try to adjust both your vocals and the metronome so you have a nice balance inside your headphones. You can clearly hear yourself and the metronome is not you know, messing you up. If you don't like to hear yourself while you're recording, all you have to do is disconnect your recording track from the master. So if I turn it on right now, you can see that my mastering is playing everything that I'm saying. So to avoid that, you just disconnect right here at the bottom chord, disconnect it and go back to the master. There's no information coming in. So this way, while you record a song, you won't really listen to your voice. So now let's move on to our recording stage and let's make our first take. First thing you need to do to record some professional vocals is warm up your voice. Even if you're not a singer and you never had any experience, just like me, warming up your voice is essential. You need to have a warm voice to hit those notes. And always make sure you have some water with you. Some exercises I like to do are, they're really awkward, but it goes something like this. 
Okay, you start going one octave up, two octaves up, you warm up your throat like that, and then you practice some ad libs. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Stuff like that, okay? To make this easy, you can just go online and watch some YouTube tutorials on how to warm up your voice with professional vocal coaches. La 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 la. <laughs> After you have your voice warmed up, what you need to do is project yourself into the microphone at a correct distance. We will be usually doing that at a palm's distance from the microphone. And take in mind that you wouldn't be recording like me. I'm actually speaking almost to the top of my mic, which isn't ideal. You would for sure have something like this. Okay, so something like that really in front of your face. And then you're at a palm distance of your microphone and you'll be singing. I'm gonna do it in a non-ideal way because I'm recording the tutorial, but it will work anyways. Now, vocals warm up, correct distance to the microphone, and let's record our first lead. Let me just bring up the lyrics. So let's hit record, audio into the playlist as an audio clip, and let's go. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending Drunk text spilling drinks on my shoes And now I'm face down and I'm covered in bruises But I'll do it all again Cause I'm young and I'm foolish Okay, as you can see this was a terrible take so Always record two to three takes so you can play with them, right? Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. One more. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. So I always advise you to record three different takes so then you can choose the best parts from each one of them and make a final one. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk text, spilling drinks on my shoes, and now I... And your vocals need to sound like this. They need to sound raw, with no effects, really dry, really clean. That would obviously depend a bit on your microphone. Me, myself, I have a Rode NT1A, which is around 200 bucks, and it sounds clean. The next stop would be to process this main vocal, see how it sounds, and then proceed to record the other layers of the vocal. Now, a trick for you right here is, let's say you recorded your full vocals, so this full instrumental thing, and you wanted to just re-record some parts of it, okay? What you could do is, for example, let's select this part right here, and we just wanted to re-record this part from the full vocal. As you can see here in FL Studio, there's a loop recording option right here at the top near the time, and it's called loop recording, and if you press it, look what happens. We're just gonna press record, out into the playlist. Pull up in my Uber sending. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down. And I'm choosing how I stay down and I'm covering bruises But I do this all again cause I'm young and I'm foolish Last night I woke up in my Uber sending trunk text As you can see it starts recording, it keeps recording, new layers And you don't really need to start it all over again And it also doesn't replace the old ones Let's say we just need this last night to be recorded and we would play it And we'd be like Last night Last night Last night. And as you can see, there's three last nights right here, new ones, and then you can choose the best one and replace it in the main vocal. So now guys, the next stage is try to reach that final main vocal. To do that, we're gonna listen to those three takes and we're gonna choose the best parts from each one. And in FL Studio, there's a nice few techniques that allow us to do this pretty easily. I'm not gonna waste much time doing this precisely for the sake of the tutorial. So let's go with this last one here that doesn't sound that bad. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. While we listen to it, for example, I noticed that this last part right here. Do it all again. This do it all again. I lost my breathing in the again word, so we're gonna replace it. Let's see how it sounds. But I do it all again so let's see how the other one sounds but i do it all again this one sounds better but i'll do it all again so we're gonna choose the second one we're gonna get the razor tool i'm gonna cut it right here and let's isolate our best vocal here i'm gonna be bring those two down and this one up so this should be our main vocal and i don't like the again here i'm gonna color it in a different way so this is our main vocal and let's replace the again Bruises, but I do it all again so this again goes off right here let's delete it and bring this one Bruises, but I do it all again cuz I'm young and I'm foolish it sounds good like this then I'm gonna also cut this part right here that sounds really loud Bruises, cuz I'm young and Cause I'm young. And you only want your volumes pretty leveled out for your main vocal. So we're gonna hit this crossfade tool here in FL Studio 21 and it will let us bring down the volume of each sample. So if we want to lower this one, I'm gonna lower it a bit for like like this. So Cause I'm young and I'm let's see the difference. This is without all again, cause I'm young and and then let's put it down a bit. All again, cause I'm young and I'm foolish. Way more leveled out and balanced. So if you wanted to crossfade right here, then we can do it like so. Just to make sure that everything works perfectly. 
do it all again cuz I'm young and I And that's it. Let's imagine we have like a ton of cuts right here, stuff like this. We're going to get the sole vocal and there's two ways you can make this a final main vocal. You can right click on track number 5 which contains the whole thing and we're going to right click and go to consolidate tracks and from track start or from song start. I'm going to loop this right here. And if you click it again, it will let you do time selection. So from track start, it will consolidate this whole track for the whole thing. But if you make a loop, it will let you do a time selection consolidation. So if you had consolidate tracks, time selection, click start. And there we go. We got our main vocal right here. Okay, with all the changes. And look how it sounds. Yes, but I do it all again, cause I'm young and I'm foolish. We can now delete the original vocal and we're left with our main one. And I'm going to rename it to main vocal. That's pretty easy. If we now add some processing, let's see how it sounds with the song. It's always happened. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk decks spilling drinks on my shoes. And now I'm face down and I'm covering bruises. But I do. Now that we got our main vocal, other things you'd need to do would just be to record some dub vocals. We can actually even use these ones, the different takes we just recorded right here. And then you record some ad libs and vocal harmonies, glue them all together, and we'd have our final result. So I'm gonna do that for you and show you in a bit. And that is it. These are just some few examples and then all you need to do is process them all, send them to the right paths. So let's say the doubles go left and right to make more room and also to make it sound bigger. Then you put some ad libs way, way in the back with some reverb and you can add your vocal harmonies, low in volume and everything glued together will sound like a complete full professional vocal and it will definitely sound amazing, especially if you know how to sing. Here's the final result. Last night I threw up in my Uber sending. Drunk text, spilling drinks on my shoes And now I'm face down and I'm covering bruises But I do it all again cause I'm young and I'm foolish Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other ideas you want me to explain on the channel and also if you want me to do a full tutorial on how to process vocals. Thank you for staying until the end and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.